Today on Gamers Couch. Flashpoint Fire Rescue. Hello, welcome to the couch. Happy Hello. Sunday. My name is Sarah. I'm the artist Pear and Pinsel Geschichten. I'm and warm. This hot guy next to me is my husband Daniel, who's board gaming. No, it's not with me. me. It's it's burning. There's a burning house. In, no. The roof is on fire. The roof. The roof. The roof, the roof is, is on, on fire. fire. Let's not go with the MF word, but let's go with, well, putting out that fire in Flashpoint. Today we are going to talk about this game. Hubby will tell you rules and gameplay. We do uh, play a few turns together and you can watch. And then we talk about uh, what we liked or not liked about this game and talk about a few funny stories and experiences in between the later two sections of this video. We do have a thumb rating, so uh, stay tuned and find out what we think about this game. There's not going to be a teaser for Dorfer Initiative this week. That's going to come up next week when it's time for a new painting to be released on the web soon. So, my love, will you please be the hottest dude in town and tell the folks how to distinguish fires in rules and gameplay? That was an odd segue. Yeah, and I'm not entirely sure if you said distinguish fires or extinguish fires. I'm not sure either, but I hope I said extinguish. I hope so too, because it sounds... Distinguish which fire we have to extinguish first. It sounded, it sounded first. like a very distinguished fire. It's yeah. like having a small monocle. And, and, <laughs> no, nice. sir, I'm burning here. Leave me alone. I'm very sophisticated. Leave me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, go ahead. Okay. Um, I sip tea. In Flashpoint, you finally get to live out your childhood dream of being a firefighter. Uh, and actually, that's way safer than being a real firefighter. Not that I don't have respect for them, but uh, I hear that getting get, chances of burns are high. Uh, it's quite a dangerous job. Yes. So here we try to rescue uh, little dogs from the apartment. And people and cats and goldfish. Yeah. Well, uh, mostly, mostly the dog. Um, <laughs> and uh, we just will keep on going. Uh, let me just explain you some uh, basic stuff you will find on the game board. So there are two sides to the board. We're playing on this uh, house here. Um, the other side has, a, I think, a more modern looking apartment. We can show that later. When once we go to the next section. Very prominent on here are these fire markers and we did that during setup, rolling them, uh, so these are always a little bit more random. Uh, then we have uh, our goal, uh, the victims, the, indicated Wicked by these, uh, these question markers here, uh, which we have to find first and see if they are actually victims. I mean, there's also smoke in here. It's really hard to see. So you're not sure who... If it's a sculpture or a victim. <laughs> Who's who, uh, so to speak. Uh, so you might end up with a cat and then say, ah, screw it, I could have rescued the dog over there. and you know. But all the cat people will now really be angry at you yes, that's uh, that's a risk i'm i'm taking right um, other things we will find on the board are these hazards uh if they catch fire uh, an explosion is going to happen explosions happen quite often anyway we'll explain that once we get to one um, and uh, another important thing are these black cubes which are there to indicate damage that means that uh, the structural integrity of these two walls is already scraped. If there are ever two cubes on the same space, that means the wall is gone. And, uh, well, we uh, unfortunately have um, then uh, a new hole to move through. But that also means that uh, these black markers get reduced and if we ever run out of them, the house collapses and that is actually one of the ways how we can lose the game. Another way for us to lose the game is if uh, our victims catch fire. 
Um, and if four of them are lighting lit up, we have lost as well. The only way for us to win the game is to rescue seven victims, and that is confirmed victims, not just uh, turn over seven question marks, which would be nice, but that's not how reality works. In a real firefight, you know, if you're really fighting fire, not in a real firefight, which is a different <laughs> thing. Um, Still, still funny, <laughs> but if you are fighting real fire, uh, you may have witnessed uh, that firefighters will stop everything and uh, as soon as there are seven people rescued, they say, job is done, let's head home. Uh, same here, uh, as well as if there's four casualties, they throw up their hands and say, I'm gonna quit! That's it. The, this one, the fire wins. Um, no, this is not. I I learned it's not well, this is the an, way of reality. This is this is an abstract concept. Yeah. So uh, let's get started. There's also I doors uh, on some spaces. Some of the doors have already been destroyed by the fire, which is uh, or they have been opened before in this by violence they, that is in, not fire. In this case, they have been uh, uh, knocked out by by the fire. All right. Do you want me to start or shall I start? I'm starting opposite. Do you want me to start or shall I start? Well, I think... Oh, <laughs> it's again, it's the carrot, carrot thing. Oh, in German, we do have two words for carrot. Möhre and Karotte. They're the same thing. But uh, I very proudly told him yesterday that I made a new juice that is uh, composed of Möhre and Karotte. And I do the same thing now. <laughs> do you want to start or do you want me to start the game? I'll start. Okay, go ahead. So after after clarifying that I'm actually the white firefighter. Sorry. Um, I'm uh, starting up there. I'm always orange. My firefighter has three basic action points and three free extinguish points uh, or actions that I can spend for that. So let's start spending actions. Action number one, I move one space that will um, consume one of my three actions of the regular ones. Uh, if I want to turn out fire, I can do so by spending one action point to turn it over from fire to smoke and then another one from smoke to gone. So I'm spending some of my uh, free extinguish action points to, cool. um, to end. So counter? one regular and to my extinguish, and this is something I... What? No gang signs here. No gang signs? Play. We don't have much I camera will, space. I will move another space, and that leaves me with one regular and one uh, of my extinguish actions, and I'll spend both of them to get rid of this Yay! piece of fire. Now, uh, it's getting hot in here. So I'm... I'm not going to take off all my clothes. We will see if there's more fire coming in. So we roll the dice. Uh, you now notice that there are these numbers on around the board and that uh, means we get to place fire. So uh, on one red and five black, uh, there's a new piece of smoke. If there's nothing there, we just place smoke. If we place smoke on smoke, it turns into fire. And if we place one on fire, it creates an explosion, which is generally bad. And uh, probably Sarah will show that after her first roll. I'm trying not to, but... She has a knack for... Uh, yeah, I kind of have like a special skill there. But uh, my firefighter is actually the paramedic. I do have four action points. I do have some treats for me here as well. I, I took some because I'm a nice person. I want to treat people. Um, treating them right. Uh, now, now, now I'm again with rescuing the dog. Good that you have all the treats and can... <laughs> yeah, I can. <laughs> it takes me one AP to treat a dog, cat, goldfish or person. And I can put one of those heel markers underneath the victim and then they can make they can move on their own with me instead of me having to carry them which costs more action points uh, but it's pretty um expensive for me i have double costs for extinguish and fire or smoke so i'm just taking care of the peeps so four points uh, and, and maybe maybe to 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 clarify uh to actually rescue a victim uh 
they have to be carried to this ambulance here, uh, which uh, Sarah conveniently decided to start on. Uh, yeah, because I could decide where the car is and uh, where what, which spot I want to and, start at. And since victims usually don't have uh, some fireproof gear, it is a little bit more cumbersome to move them around. So if I want to move a victim, I have to carry them with me and spend two action points per move. Yeah, you have uh, to shield them. That's where uh, Sarah Sarah's ability is pretty cool because she spends one action point and then she can She's have like, a little, boop, 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 a little come with me. A group of uh, victims running around with her. Yeah, just like little ducklings behind the mama. So Sarah so has four, four actions. Four point. One, one two, two, knock, knock. Turning over the door. Three. I'm going to be brave. I'm going to stand and next to the four. smoke. Uh, what? Also would have been possible uh, if Sarah doesn't want to risk, uh, although there's not much mm. that of a risk there, um, but you can save your general action points in this game. So if you don't use up all of them, you can save up to four on your character sheet and uh, spend them in a later turn. And now let's light some candles. Uh, I have a two red and a four black. Great. Yes, that room is getting filled with smoke. I mean, smoke isn't too bad um, yet, but if it should turn to fire, it can get a little bit irritating. Oh, really? Uh, it is actually not a, a, a you're not impeded by uh, moving through smoke, but moving through fire costs an extra uh, extra ex extra extra movement point. So, my love, <coughs> do you want to start or shall I uh, start next round? No, I'm... Are you good? I think we now have to follow this... Uh, Go! This uh, one moves after the other. Rhythm. Yeah, but, I mean, I, I could also now move and then you could move because we just finished the round. No, it's... I placed a smoke. No, you finished your round and now oh. it's my round. Yeah, but you started. Yes. I didn't. What? <laughs> I think you're confused a little yes. bit with the rules. <laughs> Could be that I'm hungry. Start. <laughs> so I've spent one of my regular actions to go here um, and will probably do the same. I'm really good at extinguishing fire, so I continue doing that, spending two of my free actions here, one regular and one free action to go here. Now, I still have one general action. I could move here, but this is really dangerous because if those fires uh, cause an explosion, I might get knocked down. So I'm saving my action. I'll take one of these little tokens, put them on my character sheet and have one additional action next turn. Ah, uh, that's just one. Okay. And now I need to roll for more fire. Ba -ba -ba. And Don't, no copyright infringement and here. And here we have one of the situations where smoke is placed next to fire and this will cause a flash over, meaning smoke next to fire will turn into fire. If you have a chain of smoke, uh, that can be really unfortunate. So yes. it is your turn. And, but they do very good music, the chain smokers. So I'm going to move one, two. Mm -hmm. And then I, let's see who you are. You are a person! I'm going to treat you, number three. Now you can follow me. But I'm going to save this one action now. Okay. And I'm, uh, thank you, thank you. So one, one of the reasons Sarah doesn't want to go there is... Uh, I don't want to smoke. If she, if she rolls fire or smoke I'm on not the a space herring. she's standing on, that would kill the victim she's carrying and then knock her out, uh, effectively sending her to the ambulance. Last time I'm check, I checked, I'm not a herring or elk meat, so I shouldn't get smoked. But I'm going to roll for fire, and that is woo, a red six and a black two. Just when I cleaned up the table. Sorry. So I'm, I'm back and I'm trying to fight my way through the fire here. Um, so I'm spending one general action point to move here. Um, let's see. Since this already suffered a lot of structural integrity, I will spend two of my extinguish actions to, to get here. Another extinguish and uh, regular action to get rid of him, leaving me with it. 
with one regular action and my saved action. So I can now spend this with my regular action to get rid of this fire here as well. And I think that, nice. was, a, that was a pretty good... Very productive, very efficient. Go at it. And now we have six, six, six and six. So smoke is coming up over here. On the here. carpet. And it's Sarah's turn. Um, I'm going to bring the victim to the ambulance just to because tiny hands. I'm going to put her under me, but I'm not carrying her. I'm actually just taking her yeah, with me. Or Sarah's I could do something like that. Eh. Sarah's, <laughs> Sarah's special ability uh, Small is head. really useful here. One, two, three, four, five, because I have a saved action and I'm going to spend it for the, the victim in the ambulance. Six more to go and then the rest can burn down. <laughs> Be nice. Now I have to roll for fire and then I have to roll where the next victim is going to be placed. Ba, ba, ba. Uh, seven, six. Seven black, six here. Ugh. That's not nice. Now, uh, the uh, or the persons or places of interest, as these markers here are called, uh, they always have to be three out there. Uh, since we removed one from the game, Sarah is going to roll the position of another Six, one. Six, two. Six. Awesome. Awesome. Put it to me. Put and it. two. Yes. Short a, ways I could. Pretty, pretty lucky roll. Dang. Oh. No, it's a skill. I see, uh, I see. I, I take, uh, I take uh, antibiotics as very special ones against Wheaton's disease. Mm -hmm. So I, it, I guess I treatment's working. My, my, my turn will be awfully short. I will just go one, two, spend an action to open this door, Three. and then use two of my free actions to get rid of the fire over here. Now I have to roll again. And I'm. We're getting Ooh. smoke on the oh hazmat, no. which might be dangerous soon enough. Another one, and it, it could explode. Um, so some something um, I haven't told you so far. Uh, you might be wondering what these little fire thingies on the uh, the, um, the hot spots, as they are called, on the board are. Uh, no Wi-Fi. If we, if we roll one of these spaces in, in this phase, we have to roll again. And the next space that uh, we roll after this, or the last in the change, in case we hit multiples, uh, gets a new one of those, uh, which is also really accelerating the entire game. Shall I have the last turn? And if I don't cause an explosion, we're just going to tell mm -hmm. them in the interest of time. But I do have four points. Maybe it's a lock, and then we're finished anyway. One, two. No, it's a person. Oh, it's a ginger. I like gingers. So I'm going to treat her. Treat her right. That is number three. And I'm going to take her with me to number four. Okay. And rolling for fire. It's a four, three. Four red and a three. And that hits a hot spot. So Sarah gets to roll another time. A one eight here. And since that hasn't gotten a hotspot yet, this now gets a hotspot. So what happens if... But no explosion. What happens if there's an explosion? So let's... Let me find the dog let's, while you talk. Let's assume Sarah rolled a black two and four. Uh, so we would place a smoke on a fire that causes an explosion. Uh, the way that works is in all four directions from this space, a uh, fire will emerge if there's a free space. If there is already a fire, that creates a shockwave and it just keeps on traveling that way. So uh, that would place a fire on the next free space. However, we have no free space uh, here, but a wall, so that wall gets damaged. And we have two other more walls here, so we lose even more structural integrity here, which is nice because I can walk through that, but unfortunate because uh, our cube uh, damage markers are going away. But that's good enough. Uh, if there's a door, the door gets removed. This is actually how this door got removed at the beginning of the game. 
And if you are unfortunate enough to have either a victim there, then that one obviously gets killed and removed from the game. And if it's a firefighter there, you are knocked down and you get moved to the ambulance and have to walk all the way back, which is super annoying. Um, some other things we haven't talked about yet. Um, are the cat and the dog? Are, uh, for example, the fire engine, if you're standing on there, you can... Uh, unlike the ambulance, uh, which you can radio with two actions, you have to be you have to be in the space with the ambulance uh, with the fire engine to use it and drive around. But you can also spend four action points to use the water cannon that's on here to uh, fire upon the area that this thing is adjacent to, and uh, for that you roll the dice. And there is no firefighter allowed in that area. Correct. So we have to be out. You, you roll the dice, and if you... Uh, well, right now I rolled a six and a four, so I would have hit that space. That would extinguish all fires in a plus-shaped uh, area around here, but there's no fire there. Uh, obviously, uh, since uh, this quadrant has its limits, um, if uh, the fire engine would be standing here... Uh, we would still take the black four, but we would just flip over the six to the one um, and then get rid of these two because this area would have been uh, watered. Yes. Uh, some other characters. Some notes to the other characters. The generalist uh, has just five actions, no special ability. Then there's the driver who's really good with that uh, fire engine. So uh, the driver operator can use the deck gun with two action points instead of four, allowing you to fire uh, a, a lot more often. Also, you may reroll either or uh, either or both dice uh, on to improve your result, which is pretty good uh, on, on this one so imagine the fire engine is here and hits that spot that would really uh, would remove these three fires immediately which is really nice uh, then we have a fire captain who has two free command action points that you can use to move other people around so the delegation you have a rescue specialist who uh, is really quick in moving around uh, also has a chainsaw which is obviously useful um, hazmat technicians uh, may remove spaces, uh, rem may remove these hazmat things from the game for two AP, so you don't have to carry them out of the house. And imaging, uh, imaging technicians can flip over uh, these POI, uh, POI markers and identify if they are either a fake, a cat, or the one so you want to rescue. So a fake would just be a blank. Or a dog, so you know that you have to get uh, there and rescue the dog. Or all the other victims. So that concludes the first section, and we hop into likes and dislikes. Mm -hmm. Would you like me to start, or do you want to yes, keep going? Please. Yes. Um, all right, so... From all the smoke on the board, my throat gets yeah, a little Yeah, my tea is already done, so I can definitely talk. Um, I really like this game. Why? Well, for one, it is cooperative, which is... Uh, a kind of game that I always like. I do very much appreciate and like the color and the artwork and the style and everything. Uh, as on the board, as well as on the cards, let's take this camera, as well as on the cards, I really, really like it. Um, I do like the the production value of the components. Yes, they, they don't need to have painted minis, at least not for me. This is... Um, what I would classify as a very traditional family game. So I'm <laughs> throwing my dude over the board. I'm totally fine with it. Definitely having the cutesy factor and they did outdo themselves at the, um, at the POI things. But I wanted to show you the other side of the board so this is the smaller apartment where you can That's pretty it. much reach through all the rooms from the outside, which is not the case on the side that we played at, That's where there is I one think. room here which has no entrance I, from I the think, outside. I think that's the this is the easier side because you can reach from the outside and uh, on this one. Oops, I might I might have said it looks like an apartment, here, but there's just... one, two doors only. Uh, here you have to knock down walls; you cannot yeah. go in. But it has no mid section uh, oh, room here. Yeah, kind of. 
But it, anyway, so <laughs> it's and it's a house. I, so I would, yeah, house. I, for some reason, this uh, registers as an apartment, but uh, yeah, it yeah. Anyway, it is actually a house. Yeah, and I just really like it. There's one very subtle extra political correctness and just appreciating all the people of the earth kind of thing going on, which I very much admire. If you look at the POIs, they really come from all different kinds of uh, skin color, hair color. They really sure. make sure fur to, well, the goldfish is missing, but well, um, so there's uh, gender wise, there's a lot of women here, not only the dudes, also with the firefighters, you have a lady with them as well, so I just really like that. There's actually more, the, that badass rescue specialist is uh, it, it's a, girl a lady, as well. so uh, I very much like that this is very... Um, well balanced when it comes to races, cultures, genders, all of that. I just appreciate so, it. It's a tiny little subtle yeah. thing in the game. It's not necessary to win the game, but I really, really appreciate it. And it's not, so, not only little boys who want to become firefighters. Exactly, exactly. And uh, little I've dogs too. Of course, Lessie was no, he was a rescue dog. Yeah, you have a little puppy that the always pop, run, runs pops. around with a fire helmet yeah. on. Yeah, I could actually see that. So um, I really very much appreciate that. I do like that you can have the family. Uh, so we, we showed you the experienced um, game. But there's also an easier version if you play with the younger kids or you maybe just have your first game and just want to get a feeling for the game, how it plays and not be overwhelmed and everybody wait for hours while you reread a rule maybe. Yeah. So I like that a lot. And... Um, it very much scratches the itch uh, that also Pandemic does for me. But this one, if I feel like oh, I want to roll some dice, I want to see if I can roll something good and not have the heart of the card be with me. Um, I do like this game. If I want cards and I'm really pissed off at dice for whatever reason, um, I can play Pandemic that night. So they both go for the theme of, of saving the world slash saving the, the people. <laughs> saving the world, they, saving they, the house. You do good, something good. Mm -hmm. You you um, try to uh, prevent harm uh, for, for people, for cultures, for countries, for the whole world, whatever scale you want to talk on. But I like that I can have the same feeling that I do have with Pandemic but with dice, and I can drive it, an engine and stuff. It's the, just really cool. It, the escalation feels very similar to what Pandemic fe feels yeah. like. Yeah. Uh, although I have to say this, w due to the fact that you're actually moving around with your little firefighters, which are actually looking pretty cool. Cute. Um, and they, they could have gone with some uh, with some uh, standard... Of, uh, um, yeah, like meeples or something. Pumples or meeples. <laughs> Meeple. uh, pumples is the German word for meeples, folks. No, for meeples, is, meeples is the German word for meeples, but pumples are the uh, old... Um, yeah, like the... Uh, I don't even know what they're... Uh, well, actually, pumples would be the correct German word for the... Non Little dudes. For the nondescript dudes yeah. that are not yeah. meepers. Those, if you can see them on camera, I don't know if they're on camera. Yeah, and they should be. But this, yeah, this feels <laughs> this feels a little bit more personal because yeah. you are trying to rescue the, the dogs and uh, you, <laughs> there's you just one some... dog. God damn it! There's also people and a cat and a goldfish. I'm gonna there's... draw one goldfish. <laughs> oh, I love you, but so, man. <laughs> yeah, and. Uh, and and still the um, this I have to say to me this feels a little bit more manageable in terms of the threat that is uh, posed by the fire in in comparison to something like pandemic that is um, a bit more um, well it it um, feels more spread out with yeah, the, the threat pen, pen, you have to travel across the world to the other side of the board yeah, and the, here you are kind of circling around this is, what you want to do is yeah this that? is this is a, a, a more close uh, a, a smaller space to interact in if mm -hmm. that makes sense it's not that this is easier or uh, more difficult than than what pandemic is but i i feel this is more uh, you're more involved almost because uh, this is something it's easier to imagine yourself in this situation rather than ha having this 
10 global uh, uh, yeah. force of people working together flying a across everywhere which is cool too but yeah this is this is this is uh this has the a less abstract story. yeah and i mean um i agree with you there the anxiety sets in later with me uh for this game when uh there has to be way more fire and explosions on the board that oh. i get real anxiety that we won't make it or lose the game i get that anxiety way earlier in pandemic because i cannot really uh, grasp how fast actually something is spreading so and, i'm with you and with with pandemic you sometimes have okay there's something happening over there at the end of the uh, other end of the world and you, you think yeah that's far away we don't have to worry about this here everything is still close and mm -hmm. if you're playing with more than two players um you add fire quickly you really get to the point where you despise other people's you know, well skill at tossing dice because <laughs> while they're all rolling for fire and explosions you're still there as a sitting duck and waiting to be roasted if they roll your space which is unfortunate then 200 degrees centigrade two hours in the oven yummy duck but not yummy firefighter so yeah that's i'm with you uh, do you have any wise words to add, or shall we have a quick rating? No, Is no, there anything I mean, that I we forgot? Just, oh, have you said uh, the time and everything? No. Or okay. can you please? I don't. I don't think so. But uh, what I wanted to say first, oh, I, sorry. I agree with most points that, that you said. I really enjoyed the artwork in this one, and I also think this is a. This is a really cool family game that um, even though I think it says uh, ages 10 and up, maybe you could go a little Nine bit below that, years. like eight years. Yeah, yeah some, something Nine, like that. Nine, depending on I think how this is a, this is a cool, gamey your kid is. cool theme that is a very, um, well, inoffensive or there's no violence going on or no battles being, being fought. You're just trying to... To do something good. Uh, the box, as I look at it, says this takes about 45 minutes until the house burns down. And uh, Or you rescued seven victims. And with most of these games, since this is kind of timed by how good or bad you're rolling dice, um, yeah, this varies a, a little bit, but uh, certainly this is within the... Uh, you can manage to play one of these in under an hour, which also makes it like a good, hey, let's have uh, an evening with the family kind of uh, game. But it's still challenging enough to hit the board with us, with our gaming group on, yeah. on the weekends. So um, this is not entirely something where it's, uh, yeah, we're only playing this with parents, grandparents or, mm. or, or nieces, nephews. Uh, this is uh, fun enough even to uh, give, have seasoned compete, gamers. compete with our other games uh, for table space. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And another thing that I just want to throw in, it's my last thought that you just brought up. Um, yes, it has a timer. And I think this has less, uh, it, it is less prone to trigger AP people than the pandemic yeah. does. Because, um, well, there's only three or four action points that you can spend. So there's less of possibility and less of overwhelmingness. That's a word. Um, for any people that are maybe stressed out or overwhelmed by many choices I, that they have on the board. I also have to say I really like the uh, the mechanic of being able to save action points for a later yes, turn. Yes, that's um, actually gold. Because uh, in some of these uh, games, uh, it, and it doesn't matter if they're cooperative or competitive, but sometimes you always have a turn where you feel like, eh, I can't really do that much this turn, and uh, that lets you not waste anything. I mean, obviously, if you have, if you don't save up four and don't use them next turn, you still don't have anything to use. You may be doing something wrong, but um, that's a that's also something that makes this interesting because you try to. Um, you try to uh, figure out how are your chances of uh, fire spreading, where do you position yourself um, together with um, you, how many actions do you want to reserve for, for a later turn. So that's something I greatly enjoy with this one. It, I think it is, uh, yes, analysis paralysis doesn't happen as often as you said, because there's 
you are in a more confined space. Yeah. You have uh, less. You, if you're standing here, you're not necessarily worrying about what's happening over you here. You might at be the other worrying, the but you can't do but, anything about but, it. So. But you're more focused about you, yeah. where you are at this point in in the game with the actions that you have uh, available. Yeah. It, I, I think what you just said really uh, the the subline or the the line for this game would be it's all very confined. It mm. feels mm -hmm. very very much narrowed down, and um, I really like that. But I still think it's uh, uh, strategically challenging. Oh yeah, uh, it is. Yeah. And I I you want to spend I, every action point to its most effect. Yes, at all times. I don't want to just rescue the people, but I want to be fast and efficient with it. And I do get anxiety mm -hmm. with this game on the board. It's not easy peasy lemon squeezy. No, no, don't get me wrong, but. It, I get the anxiety uh, later in the game than I do with others. That's just the difference. Shall we now rate, my love? Can you have the thumb of thumbness? One, two, shake the arm fat, three. <laughs> there we go. This is a... <laughs> two thumbs up. I, I mean, you. this is one uh, another one of those with two thumbs up, uh, but uh, it's... It just fits so many of, of spaces where we got this out and played. We took this on a, on a vacation with friends. We played this with family. We played this. Yeah, uh, we can actually talk just about the that two of in us. a second. Yeah, um, and it's it just uh, fits with so many audiences uh, that there's not much you can do but recommend yeah, this uh, exactly uh, we don't actually own any of the expansions that have uh, is come out uh, since then uh, but I also don't feel the need necessarily no. to expand uh, upon that. Yes, There's so uh, much in the box. So yes, it, it would be nice to ha sometimes have more variety when it comes to, to the roles or maybe a, a, diff a different map. And if mm. that's what you want and you don't have like a ton of games in, in your shelf and want to get more out of this game, I th I can see that they may Expansions offer something. Expansions would make sense, yeah. For, but not for, for us, us right? actually, the, the base game uh, is... Pretty good on its own and doesn't leave us desire or desire for something yeah. else there. Exactly. So uh, let's hop into the last section, funny stories and experiences. And now you have to help me. Um, I know that we got this game when Jim was mm -hmm. visiting us, but was it 2013 or 2014? I'm thinking 2014. Am I correct? We got uh, Space Cadets mission uh, and uh, the co-op game and Zombie Side in 2013. Am I correct? 2014 for Flashpoint. That we got it the second year he was here. I think yeah. No, I think it was the first year. He was oh, here. was it? Okay, so it's either of the two years, 2013, 2014. And uh, we played it with our dear friend Jim while he was here on vacation because he was actually the person recommending this game to us. He mm -hmm. said, have you played it? Do you like Pandemic? I think it, it was 2013 because we met each other in person for the first time and were kind of figuring out, okay, what kind of games do you like? What, kind of, what do I know? What can I recommend to you? And, you know, like that and spending a couple of weeks together and just playing, which was awesome. So uh, I remember one specific game where um, we were sitting at the couch table. We still had the big couch table and uh, we're sitting there like one of these games like 4 a.m. in the morning because specific standard time and jet lag and stuff. And uh, Jim was uh, playing that, the... That, that is, by the way, Pacific standard time, not specific standard time. Although it, is a, it was a specific <laughs> standard time. <laughs> Yeah, that's in okay. our the case, game was the board game was time with the in <laughs> our case it was <laughs> CEST uh, uh, so the um the what what I have no good pun for CEST Central European Standard Time oh okay yeah CET is actually yeah, Central yeah, European yeah. Time but anyway so um we were playing this game and he was uh, playing the um. The character that could uh, fire the water cannons, mm -hmm. and he pretty much, and the two of us were playing other characters, and I don't remember which, but I I remember him uh, going every round, 
get out of the quadrant. I want to have the fire <laughs> extinguished with my big water cannon. And he was just going in circles around the board and like, move, get out of the quadrant. I want to extinguish fire. And we just really had a lot of fun with it, making jokes and stuff. So that was a game I definitely remember. Mm -hmm. And then I remember... Um, we took it to Malta uh, to play with uh, two other gamers, so we took and, this on vacation. And, and in that case, one of our friends who used to be yeah. uh, 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 with the um, uh, what they what's it called, uh, uh, freiwillig, uh, voluntary. Yeah, the he w was with the volunteer firefighters. Uh, so, so uh, German lesson freiwillig means uh, volunteer or yeah, so, voluntary. So he had a special place. Yeah, uh, this game heart, had a special place in, in his heart um, yeah. because uh, that uh, sometimes, even though it's a board game, but sometimes it captures the magic of the real life and what it means to you. So exactly. So that was another great game. Mm -hmm. And then there was one. I, I remember one or two games that we definitely lost. Where we had one was due to victims, and the other one was due to uh, construction. Just the house going down mm -hmm. on us. But I don't have any specific other memories from those games other than oh no. We lost. Yeah, you can. <laughs> but there is very many where, uh, or what I remember from all of the games is that we didn't have time to talk about other things that go on in life. <laughs> but we were so yeah. in the in the game and just talking about. Okay, can you do that? Oh, I want to do that. Is is that the thing? Mm -hmm. Just talking about strategy and how to move forward and uh, hoping and keeping a lot of fingers crossed for not rolling too shitty. So we were all in the firefighting and yeah. people saving world and not in the real world. Also, I, I have to say, while uh, it is possible that this is one of the games where you have, if you have an alpha player on, uh, on mm. at the table oh, yeah. who's uh, telling everybody what to do and what not to do, um, here, yes, you can run into that situation, but at least everybody has to roll for their own little fire. And that is also something that I, I like about mm -hmm. this, because That's everybody's it. always looking what everybody else is rolling on the dice. It's not only, Nobody's, this, is your, this yeah. is your turn, I'm going to check my phone. It is, you're still engaged, mm -hmm. because you, you still want to see what they roll, because... It might be you who's standing on what they're... Yeah, or you just want to cheer them on, unless, or... Unless you're lazy and driving around with a fire engine and just shouting at people and say, move no, out actually, of the room. I actually loved it. He got really killed a lot of fire, and we could actually just take that's, care of rescuing the peeps, and he was making true. way for us. And yeah, I re it was a very special game. I really liked it. So we had a lot of great experiences with this one and if you're interested and in, can you can get your hands on a copy of that game maybe you have some great experiences too hopefully unfortunately we are, this week there's no teasing for no, a draw for an editor no that's going to be happening next week hmm. can you survive what was last week uh blueprints so did you guess it my great attempt at conveying blueprint to you. i like that one with the fingerprint on the table you were very creative i try awesome. i try sometimes i try <laughs> sometimes he's forced to try anyway we're gonna go now we're gonna enjoy our weekend we hope you do the same you have a great sunday monday tuesday whenever it is that you're watching this game but game video oh, hungry so, hungry i have to cook dinner now i have to go <laughs> Stay cool, <laughs> even in face of a burning apartment or house or cat. Dog. No, no, <gasps> no. Dogs don't. No. no animal burning. No. Uh, have fun. Take care. If you have any questions or comments, the comment section is yours. Fill it with wonderful words. And uh, we're going to see you next week. You can also find us on any social media sites that are in the description box below. Plus, we are on Board Game Geek. So there is geek lists for this particular show here, as well as Draw for Initiative. So come on over, take a look, take a peek, engage, have fun, and uh, take care. See you next Sunday. See you next time. Goodbye. Bye, 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 bye. If I go fast enough, can that distinguish fire? Ah, uh, shaking the arm of it. Your hand, your hand might ignite from <laughs> too much, too much vibration. 
Okay. No. <laughs> I'm going to go now. Bye. Bye.